Today I'm really up high in this great old oak tree in Summerland, actually helping Bartlett's Tree Repairs restore this fantastic heritage oak. Queen Elizabeth's oak was planted to commemorate her coronation in 1953 in front of the old stone Anglican church in Summerland, but recent additions to the church and the road improvements to Rosedale and Prairie Valley Roads have taken its toll on the heritage tree. So this is the tree. This is the tree. And we're going to have you working on this tree for uh, the better part of the day. Wow. You're going to do a little bit of everything that we're going to be doing. Floor Klassen of Bartlett's Tree Experts says the old oak isn't growing the way it should be. This would be in a growth extension from about five years ago. We've got about eight to ten inches. Then we went down to about three inches. And then we went down to about two inches. And last year only about an inch of new growth been in the Okanagan a long, long time and I've always admired the tree and I've been watching it decline and as an arborist, I mean trees are pretty important to us. It's, it's what we do and we have a passion for them so we really want to see this feature uh, survive. So Bartlett's is donating time and equipment to help bring the tree back. Now we're with Ryan, he's the foreman on the oak project. Now what are we up to now, Ryan? Uh, well, we're going to get you in a harness here and put you up in the tree a little bit. Oh, all right. So. It's load rated to 5,500 pounds. 5,500? Good thing I've been on a diet. Right. And what you can do is pull yourself up on one end, on this end here. I pull on this one? You pull, pull up on this end. Right. And I'll do what's called a belay. Here we go. <laughs> what we're going to do with this Into tree today tree. is, first off, we're going to take out all the dead and diseased material out of it from a hazard perspective. Also, aesthetically, it looks a whole lot better. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Ah. All right. There's a little dead stick on the bottom there. Right, that one. I've, I've got a handsaw for you. Oh, yeah? All right. Put me to work. This one here? Yeah. That one's dead, yeah. Where do I take it off? Right at the base, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I probably could have got closer. All right. Was I supposed to yell timber? While cleaning up the branches helps, the main problem with this oak lies underground. If you look at a tree like this, you've got to imagine that uh, a tree doesn't hold itself up or that its root system's not like a big carrot. It's more like the pedestal on a wine glass. So all the root system of this tree is in the top 12 inches of soil because root density under mulch and compost is double what it is under turf. We want to remove the sod. The next step is we've got to get this grass out of here so they can start working with the air spade and, right. and decompacting the soil. So we've got this little machine here, it's called a sod cutter. The start is right there, just give it a pull. Return, that's on. Woo. First go. All right. Ah. I cut a strip of sod, roll it up, and haul it away. I should have brought my pickup. This would have been perfect for my backyard. Back of that truck. Up there? Yep. Oh, sure. Mm. Okay, saving oak trees isn't easy. So the next part of the process, now that you've got the turf off, yeah. is we need to break up this compacted soil, expose some of the root system so we can get the compost worked right down. And for that, we're using this tool, which is called wow. an air spade. The air spade is simple. A big compressor, a long hose, and a high pressure stream of air blasting the old soil out of the way. I kid you not, Doug, you are going to have dirt in every pocket, in every orifice that you have in your entire body. All right. OK, time to make some dust. Whoa! <laughs> OK, the dirty started already. Dirty and noisy, yes, wow. but gentle on the tree's root system. As you can see, these feather roots are untouched. Wow, yeah, even the most delicate parts. They're, they're all still there, and what that will enable us to do is once we get this broken up and loosened up for the roots, we're going to supply it oxygen, we're going to add compost and turn it all in here, so we're going to have a nice organic medium for this new root system. So just like Thanks to lab testing, like we can replace yep. that old, rocky, compacted soil with a blend of fertilizers and nutrients custom mixed for this specific tree. To finish up, I'm heading back in to prune the branches, aerial lift the device. easy way. Aerial lift device. Well, we're up on top of the big aerial lift device. <laughs> and I'm going in the tub. Yep. 
And okay. then there's the elevator as well, which is another, which gives you another 10 feet, and that's side to side. It's a, it's a little complicated, right? Yeah. Okay. You'll figure it out. Uh, or we'll, I'll be like a kitten up a tree. We'll have it in slow mode, so uh, it'll be good, a little easier. Good, good thinking. Almost there. Getting closer. <laughs> I'm gonna take this little one out first. Start small. Get my confidence up. Working up here in this bouncy thing. Working with this old oak tree, I begin to understand what Thor was talking about when he explained his attraction to this job. Go below. So when you get up into the trees and, and you start working with living things and uh, being able to help and preserve them, it's, it's a phenomenal feeling. Oh, nice landing, thanks. Well, that was pretty exciting. Up on top of the great old oak tree here in Summerland, and it sure looks like the Queen's Oak is in good hands.